Hey guys, welcome back to Glam Finds. I'm here with another fragrance review on a fragrance that I actually think is exceptional. And that fragrance today is going to be Rosasi Darige Porome. I have not tried the Pour Femme version yet, but I think eventually once I get all the Rosasis, I'm gonna start collecting those too, just cause, guys, Rosasi is pretty awesome. Um, their fragrances are like powerhouses. But before I get into the brand, let's talk about this. This fragrance to me, I know a lot of people don't like the cumin note in it. I can kind of smell it, but I don't smell it like the B.O. thing that a lot of people think cumin kind of smells like. It just smells spicy. And I love this fragrance. I got this for around $27, $26, $27 on fragrancebuy.ca for a hundred mil. And this smells so good. Let me just kind of read off some of the notes to you guys. Okay, so per Fragrantica, the notes to this one are cardamom, which I can definitely smell with the cumin, which I think blends it really well. And I think that's why the cumin doesn't come off as like abrasive or anything to me. Uh, you're gonna get rose, orris root, sandalwood, patchouli, amber, musk, vanilla, and tonka bean. And I think they're blended really well in this, especially for a fragrance that's under $30. I, I love it. I mean, honestly guys, for $30 or less, this is probably one of the best fragrances that you can get. And I'm not saying that lightly, I'm saying that just all honesty. Um, this fragrance is why I started to pick up things um, from the house of Rosasi. I like Havas, but I like this one more. Havas costs more and yeah, it's great for summer, all that. But this is just more unique to me. <laughs> Before I go into it being unique, it is said that this is a dupe of Valentino V, which has been discontinued for years. I've never smelled it and for the ungodly price that it's going for, I'm definitely not gonna buy a bottle. Even if it was cheap, I probably wouldn't buy a bottle. But anyways, other than that, which I mean, it's discontinued, so whatever, I would say this is pretty unique. I mean. In my collection, I don't have anything else that smells like it. And I love wearing it. I like to pick this up a lot. I don't, I understand that it's summer and you guys don't think that this is summer appropriate, but I don't care because I've worn it in the heat and it doesn't get cloying and no one's complained. Um, and I've worn five sprays, which I know a lot of you guys probably wouldn't even go five sprays on, on this, but I wear five sprays of pretty much everything unless it's like super weak then I go more or if it's just too much then I go less which I have like maybe one fragrance that I do that with but this fragrance is really nice and it's sweet so who can wear it I think it's unisex and I think everyone will love it I think it's mass appealing and a compliment getter um, the people that won't love it are probably people that do not like sweet fragrances and I know you guys are out there. I don't love super sweet fragrances, but if you like something semi-sweet, this is for you. Um, I don't have anything to compare it to. Uh, it just smells so good and different. And I don't always like different. I was nervous that because of the cumin note, I wasn't going to like it. I just love it. Um, and I think honestly, it is blind by worthy. Again, because anyone can wear it. And to me, the versatility is there. If you're like nervous about stuff like that, then you can keep it for a year round scent that you only wear in the evenings because you can get away with a lot more in the evenings, I would say when it comes to fragrances with more of like the vanilla and the tonka in them. But uh, I think it's gonna shine in fall through spring, but definitely, you could still definitely wear it in the summer. Again, it's not like crazy projection or anything like that. And it's not gonna be cloying. So to me, this is a very versatile fragrance. It is warm, but it kind of has like a delicious scent to it. Anyways, I like it. I think it's mass appealing. I've gotten compliments on this one, which is kind of kind of weird because I don't really go anywhere, but at work, I've been told that I smell really good with this specific fragrance on. So also the person that told me that I smell good with this asked me to buy him a bottle for his wife. So it obviously comes off as unisex. Um, yeah, so I think anyone can wear this and 
probably better for the evening or cooler weather, but uh, you can wear it whenever. Is it blind buy worthy? Yeah, guys, it's like $27. Do it, just do it. It's great. It smells super good, unique. For me, this one kind of checks all the boxes, so, you know, this is an A plus in my book. If you guys have tried this, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. As always, thank you for watching Glam Finds. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.